Hello again, everybody. Sebastian here with Forerunner News. That is right. We have another patch coming here that they're going to roll out. It is a little bit significant because there are some heroes that are being reworked and there are some changes uh, to the Odyssey, uh, one particular Odyssey quest that is being done. I imagine the sun, that these changes will eventually come to the global server because one of them does involve a hero that is here in the server but it's not in global yet. So I think that they're preparing themselves for the next shard summoning event that is coming up in the global server. All right, as, as always, uh, at the end of the video, if you appreciate the content, please do remember to hit like and subscribe. It does help grow the channel. Let's go over the skins. Emirates, Trusk, and Theowin skins will be available in the skin shop. They'll go through the rotation just as like the, all the other ones that we've seen so far. So if you miss one for some reason, you're still going to get a chance to get them. They're adding a new achievement. So if we complete and clear stage 10 of two gear dungeons, we're going to get a Divine Crystal. Pay attention to the wording though, because it's a clear stage 10 of two gear dungeons. So I'm um, where i think that smells that smells like a new gear dungeon coming soon so hopefully that will be something else that we can look forward to when it comes to watcher of realms the other thing and i i really do think that this is a big step at least for quest 66 to kind of simplify things i would have gone a little bit further with it but now you don't have to rank top one three times now you have a little bit more flexibility they're changing it to at least get one of the first two spots so if you come in second it'll still will count i would have gone to three if i was honest with you just get into the top three of the oracle trial three times and you complete it but at least now they're giving you a little bit of flexibility so you don't have to win it outright and try to move on from that quest so here in Forerunners, I'm still actually in Quest 66. It's not a, it's not a, it's a non-spend account. I do try to be very um, uh, manage my resources as well as I can, so I try not to blow at all in an Oracle trial. So I've been very meticulously trying to get that one get done. And I target gear rate too. I try to go uh, hard on it at the beginning, and then if I see that two or three people right behind me i just quickly message them and say this is on quest 66 i would appreciate it if you back off some of them do some of them don't and i'm being patient with it i just don't want to just have to you know like put so many potions into something that I, eventually i don't want to do especially in this account so that's a nice change we welcome it like i said i would have gone top three let's talk about the heroes that are being reworked now hex here he is just going to get a bond skill. It looks like we're going to get a new hero into the game called Twyla. Uh, the Red Smile is her uh, uh, secondary name. And so when we get this bond skill unlocked, the Fate the Hermit is triggered for Hex. He gains an additional seal equal to 40% of his attack for 10 seconds. So a little bit of survivability, especially in Bass Bottles, that will help a lot. And then if we put Twyla on the field first, then Hex's cost is reduced by two, so we only need 10 to then deploy him. So it looks like they're going to try to make a pair up for Bass Bottles. So we'll see what eventually her kit reads, and that is that case. Talula. So some of you in the global server were expecting her to come to the game. And unfortunately, the whole thing with Apple started. They couldn't update the game, so this banner uh, that she was on was not presented to the global server. However, the Forerunner server did get it, so some of us here in Forerunners have managed to summon her and are using her. The thing with her talent, though, is that it, she uh, will send these butterflies out, and she'll send them to the allies in range. So in this particular, as you read it here, it says three in range. They just improve in the logic of this ultimate to make sure that the, the, the butterflies will actually go to the heroes that need it the most especially when it comes to the healing to the dispelling to the damage reduction uh they're just trying to improve the logic on that so that's essentially what the minor change that it is so if you've seen any showcases um just 
if and they mentioned anything about her in that regard that she did her butterflies didn't look like she was going where she needed they needed to go they improved the logic on that so not not too big of a concern there in regards to to that hero so um I'm probably going to have to publish my showcase soon uh, because I do expect it to be coming to the global server soon. So we'll see. Giselle is the other hero that they're going to be changing. She, uh, we can get it from the ancients, uh, crystals. So, but she's not a lord. So she's only um, a chaotic nightmare fighter. She, she does normal damage, but she does have the two tile extension. The one thing about her though, is that her damage really does depend on the enemy's HP. So currently, if the enemy has uh, more than 60% HP, she gains 20% damage. When that hero drops below that, she loses that extra damage. And unfortunately, she then does not hit very hard, at least from what I hear from people saying. One of the things that they decided to change is that they were going to then reduce that to 50%. So once you reach that 50% threshold, that's when you lose the extra 20 percent damage but they're trying to alleviate some of the problem and they're trying to then give us some of the damage back with the vampire uh, charm here which is the bond skill that they're adding her to her and we're going to need celine to pair up to unlock this skill so what's going to happen for this to trigger uh, once it triggers it uh, it reduces her cost by two on the first deployment so this is all about the first deployment and then increases her damage by 20 percent for 60 seconds so it's going to be limited as to when you have it so if you're going again you 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 drop her down you targeting the enemy 20 percent you get 20% based on that on, on the enemy's HP. So now you're getting an additional 40% of her damage. She should be hitting hard, right? But unfortunately, as, as soon as he goes down to 50%, now we're only dealing 20% extra damage. And then after 60 seconds, she just goes to her normal mode. So is it really a buff? It's a buff just for the first Intestinians uh, and her first deployment, right? That's going to be the key. So I think... Given that the zero is an arena specialist, I think that where she's going to come into play is going to be in the first deployment. So you're probably going to want to save her to the latter end of the battles in arena. That's essentially what it's going to come down to. If she helps eliminate the enemy that she's targeting on that first deployment, she will then, once that enemy dies, she will then restore her rage by 100%. Her ultimate will then be ready again that's essentially the change that was done to her where it's going to be significant in the amount of damage that she does i don't expect it to but maybe it'll just be on an initial burst that will see those numbers really increase we'll test it out see essentially what it does to her to her if she becomes a little bit more playable this is essentially what it's going to come down to the other one is celine for those of you that do not know about celine she has been here in Pro Runners for a while. She uh, she was released as a Shire Summoning event, and I had just started playing, so unfortunately, I did not get her into my account. Uh, it was The account was too young. I didn't have enough resources to do that. So essentially, the sister's here, so we all know Giselle, so that's one of the ones that are being changed. The other one here is Celine. So this is what uh, the vampire, this is what she looks like. Now... Her kit is amazing. I really do like it. And at times, yes, uh, if we do get her into her accounts eventually, I do hope that the changes to her kit do her justice because this is a hero that we all need to be playing with at all times. Look at the design. The vampire look is phenomenal. They did a great job with the design. And it's unfortunate that people are just shelling her and not really paying attention to her. I can even show you here in Forerunners. Not, not everybody's a fan of her. They, they see some utility maybe in Void Rift, but that's about it. Nobody nobody likes to use her. Nobody uses her for anything else. She doesn't help. So uh, they needed to do a little bit of a change. And then the change that they decided to do is essentially, let's try to make sure that she takes uh, more advantage of her talent. I think that that's essentially what it is. Once we um, end up uh, in the summary, the summary of her changes here. So the first thing that they change was of talent so when it comes to her talent now 
in that that mark that she inflicts when she does her basic attack so now you need four stacks right to deal 200 percent damage to the enemy the way that they're changing this now is that once you get the four stacks you're going to deal 100 percent damage two times to the enemy so i'm wondering if this will count as an extra hit essentially is what i'm i'm i'm, I'm curious about because now what they're trying to do with the other other skills as well is that they are changing the frequency as to how often she is hitting if she does more hits during the battle while she's deployed she'll be adding more marks the more marks you get the more chances are that you're going to proc this 100 percent damage twice so that i think that that's essentially what they're going for after they reworked her whether that is going to add additional damage we shall see so before her ultimate the swish was dealing damage to the enemy three times swiftly each hit dealing 240 240 320 percent damage this is all if it's max skill now the way that her kit read here let me go back because this is going to be key and i hope that they do clarify this or we'll see the clarification once the update is done is that it you can actually skill the first two hits so the 200 percent is the base if you skill that up and invest on level two and level three of her ultimate you get it up to 240 240 which is why we see 240 240 320 okay so the change that we're seeing now it says it goes 120 120 120 120 160 160 because now she does her last six times six hits so there is going to be hopefully more opportunity for this talent to proc during that ultimate we get the additional damage on top of it but i think that the wording of this will probably have to say first four hits so then it stays consistent so i think it will be dealing dealing 100 percent damage with the first four hits and then we're going to scale that up to 120 like it's uh, on the on the on the description so i think that that is essentially what is going to be the change now on paper it should be more damage actually people think that this is uh at least some of the forerunner people that i have been seeing uh talking about the change they actually think that this could be a nerf that would be a shame if they do this is exactly the exactly the, the case because this hero is not playable to be to begin with and then her passive the launch if it's max skills so you get a basic attack and then you have a 20 percent chance to trigger this effect dealing 180 percent damage to multiple enemies in range is a two tile extender right so anything that is in there if this triggers 180 percent damage right away now this is actually going to change the way that they're changing it now is that instead of dealing 190 percent damage to multiple targets is going to deal 230 percent damage to one target in that range and then it's going to flip one stack of mark on the other enemies around that target so you focus on one target all the other ones get marked ideally the more marks then eventually it'll come cycle out you get four boom two hits of 100 percent damage i think that that's exactly what they're going for we'll we'll see eventually that's what we're going to need the other thing here with her awaken three is it going to increase the amount of magic uh, resistance that she ignores is going to go from 15 percent to 30 percent her awaken five is right now the ultimate cast the next ultimate affects two more targets in this one though it will deal an extra 100 percent 150 percent damage three times so how how it's the best way to describe this depending on <laughs> depending on whether they make us uh, available more copies of her to summoning she this little buff that she's getting she might be in a sore where she will excel when she gets to a5 just like a sore just like cratch do right so which is 
at least on paper it, it reads like she should do a little bit of damage but on the surface it's just it looks underwhelming so hopefully she does better i'm not expecting her to to be honest the other thing though is that the bond skill with Giselle, if you unlock this, now we're talking, okay, now maybe there's a possibility. There is a possibility because the switch will then inflict 30% bon uh, vulnerability to magic damage. There, there is a possibility that then we'll get the extra damage that, we, that we're looking for because if she's doing the six hits, it would go 120, 120, right? So as soon as that first hit and she does able to apply the vulnerability the rest of the hits should be at a uh, with this applied so maybe then the damage does increase again this is all uh postulation we have to test it and see if she in fact does lead to a damage boost that we think she needs because right now in her version as she stands right now is really underwhelming and you saw how you saw that from the ratings here in Forerunner. So that's essentially it for Forerunner news. This patch is all about heroes, heroes getting bond skills and Quest 66 of the Oracle Trials getting a tad bit easier. That'll do it for Forerunner news. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. Please do remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all in the next Watch Our Realms video.